So, in a sense, we were looking there at naked mantle. We didn't have any upper layers, we just had objects. But actually, the Earth, above the mantle, it's got the Earth's crust. Now, I should explain that the upper part of the Earth is rigid, and it's not just the crust, it's the crust and a little bit of the mantle. But in this demonstration, we're just going to be looking at it as if it was one layer. And what we're going to use as that one layer is a simple everyday material, which is this. This is uh, bubble wrap. And I'm going to arrange, I'm actually going to, this is meant to be one layer, but it, it turns out it works best if you have three subdivisions of it. So basically, the bubble wrap is obviously not very dense at all and is going to float and there's no surprises there. So there we have the three layers of bubble wrap. Now the Earth's crust has got, a, the continental crust has got a kind of standard thickness and when it has that standard thickness the top part is near sea level but when, you, when things happen at plate boundaries you can develop thicker crust and so we're going to actually simulate that thicker crust with an actual rock. So what we need to do is put the rock carefully onto the crust and obviously it's going to go down there. Now you can see that the thing has gone down but now its weight is being supported by the bubble wrap and the water. The upper part would be sticking up but in this demonstration I've chosen rock is much denser than bubble wrap so actually it's not sticking up but this would be like a mountain range there's a lot more weight here but what's important to look at is that the the thing has a root so the bit that's sticking down into the mantle is what we often call a root a mountain root and when you look at it if you look sideways there's the rock, you can see this dark material here. There's the root, and then the root is just beneath the rock. The root doesn't, is not seen anywhere else. And that might not be a surprise. Where the rock is, the weight is being supported, and that's where there has been some subsidence there. So that is a, an example of isostasy, where you have a mountain belt, then you have got a deeper root. And you can do maths to calculate that if you want, but the maths would be the same as the maths that would describe this experiment. Maybe I risk it a bit by trying to make a proper mountain, but remember that now I'm trying to make a bigger mountain, it's not gonna it's gonna go down as well as up. So that might be a bit too lively for this demonstration. It might just completely uh, disappear into the mantle which is not a phenomenon that happens often in the real world. Okay, but look, the basic point here is that the weight was accommodated locally, right? What, what, what I mean by local, let's just do it one more time. What I mean by local is the root is only where the weight is. But that is not always true because the bubble wrap has properties that are relevant. The density is an obvious relevant property, but look how bendy it is. I mean, it has no strength. You know, nobody would use bubble wrap to build a house with, you know, it's just very bendy, isn't it? And this is relevant because in the earth, the, the rigid upper layer might be a bit bendy or very bendy like that, or it might be actually quite rigid and not so easy to bend. And so what we're going to do is look at that next. So we're now going to pick another material which is completely rigid. So look at this, right? That's not bubble wrap. It's not very dense, but it's pretty rigid. I mean, I can bend it, but I have to apply some force. So not surprisingly, it's going to float. But now look what happens when we put a weight on it. So here's the same weight that I was using before. When I put that weight on here, then I need to just make sure it doesn't tilt much, but basically 
There has been general subsidence. There's a big route there, but it's over the entire length of that piece of quite rigid material. So the point now is that the weight is still being supported, but it's not just supported locally. There's a much bigger route all along here. And what this illustrates is that the way that a mountain belt or other piece of unusual topography is supported depends on how strong the plate is that it's sitting on or that it's part of. So we'll pursue that a bit more by picking a material that's weaker than this, because this is almost completely rigid, but stronger than the bubble wrap. So we'll use a type of foam rubber. <coughs>